last lightning talk for today. Um, I would give a want to give a presentation about how to initialize or initiate plugins. Um, because uh, when you do it wrong as a developer, that can be a very great uh, problem for other developers. So just very quick who I am. My name is Bernhard Kau. I'm living in Berlin. I'm a PHP developer, a WordPress plugin developer. Um, I'm also one of the organizers of the meetup in Berlin and from this uh, WordCamp. Um, and you, I rarely Twitter, uh, uh, I rarely blog on my blog currently, but yeah, that's it. So let's dig into the thing. I have uh, found some issues with the advanced custom field plugin. Um, I wrote a plugin myself on um, having a fallback language when you use the formal German uh, language version. And someone was writing to me that my plugin is not working. And then I figured out it's not my plugin, it's the other plugin. Um, and that's the code. And is anyone seeing the issues with this code? Correct. So the load text domain call is the problematic thing. But why is it problematic? So when plugins are loaded, they are loaded inside of the WP settings PHP file. And there are some um, actions that are called before the plugins are actually loaded. And there are some actions that are called after the plugins are loaded. But while the plugins are loaded, they are loaded in an alphabetic order. So because advanced custom field starts with an A and language fallback starts with an L, my plugin is loaded after the advanced custom field is loading. So when they load their translation using the load text domain um, function and my plugin is altering the functionality of those functions, it's already too late. So I have no chance to step into the process of loading the translation file because my plugin has the wrong, the wrong name, to, <laughs> to speak it simple. And so what would be a fix to fix that issue? Oh, I see it's, it's still in there. So the above is still the, the wrong one. And the, the better one would be um, a new function, having a new function in the plugin and then calling these new functions at a time where plugins should be initialized or at least the functions of a plugin should be called. And that would be something like plugins loaded. So then all the plugins have been loaded. So all the PHP files have been loaded. So also my plugin would have been loaded and I would have set the hook for the load text domain function and then it would work. So probably you ask yourself, what would be the best way to do it then? Is there like the way to do it? And I would say it's, there are so many ways on how to initialize a plugin and I'm also not like the expert on how to do it. So I was searching for some examples. So the one is from a guy probably known as uh, most of you as Ras, he's sitting right here. And there was a, a question on uh, WordPress Stack Exchange exactly about that uh, type of issues. And he was suggesting th something like this. So he has. This um, is old. <laughs> it's, it's old, but it's still. This is really old. <laughs> it, it's really old, but it's still somehow a good way to do it. There might be other ways, but it's still a way where you can say, OK, this kind of issues wouldn't occur because you have like a static function on load. And he's doing all the, like, all the calls to other functions are done through the add action. So he's not calling any functions instantly when he's calling the, uh, when he's initi initiating the class. So he can just call the onload function as soon as the plugin is loaded because he's not doing any side effects inside the onload function. Another way would be um, what Tosho was suggesting, and that's also a way he he used to do it in his plugins. He's using something called a singleton. So he has like uh, a class and he, the constructor function is empty. So when he's calling the class 
so when he, he's initiating the class, there's nothing done. And then he is also using the plugins loaded callback um, hook, and he's doing all the initialization inside of the plugin setup function, like calling an internal function load language, which will then call the load text domain. And using a singleton prevents him from like initializing the same class again and again. So that's another way of doing it. So the essence is whenever you initialize your plugin, try to avoid calling other functions instantly because you might block other developers from altering your file, uh, your, your plugin. And also when you like provide an action that someone could use to change your uh, plugin, and then you call it the wrong way, then you can just skip the filter because they might not even be uh, able to, to use the filter. And so like in the advanced custom field, there, was, there were two filters in the constructor and I was asking the plugin developer, how would anyone be able to use those filters? And he was telling me, no one's ever using those filters. So <laughs> why are they in the plugin then? When no one's using except of you, because like he was introducing the filters and using them right in the constructor afterwards. So there was no need to have a filter then. So thanks for listening and clean up your code. <laughs>